All right. So, Ted, uh, whenever we get together, we laugh a lot. And Leslie and I laugh a lot. I, I know you guys do on the home front as well. But there's some people that go, ah, we need a little help. How do we bring more laughter into our lives as a couple? Do you have some suggestions on that? Yeah. And you've heard this at events as well. It's easy for you to, to laugh as a couple because you're a comedian. And I always tell them, I, we don't wake up in the morning and start telling each other jokes. That's not how this works at all. I don't make Amy turn on a fog machine and go, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ted. That's not how this works. What we're doing is discovering and using our shared sense of humor. That's the key to more laughter. And the fastest way I know how to do that and to help anybody, whether you got a great sense of humor or not, the best way to bring more laughter and the fastest, the fast track to bringing laughter into your marriage is stop trying to be funny. Knock it off and start looking for it. This is how you discover your shared sense of humor. You look for it and then you call it out. That's the secret. And Les and Leslie, you have this down. I've, I've read plenty <laughs> of your books to know you do this on airplanes, your people watchers. And, and I always suggest to couples, study your spouse's funny bone because not everybody has the same funny bone. What makes you laugh may not make somebody else laugh. Some people like the Three Stooges. Somebody might like, you know, Woody Allen or something more cerebral. And so you got to study their, their funny bone. Uh, but uh, what, what always cracks you? How, how, can, how do you kind of, do you have something you go to to always make your wife laugh? I'm always finding funny stuff in the grocery store. Just recently, I was walking down an aisle and I saw a case of Coke, 15 pack of Coke. And third of the box said 15 pack, big letters, 15 pack, three cans more than a 12 pack. That's my sense of humor, right? That's, <laughs> that's the math teacher told you show your work. I'm like, Coca-Cola is now showing their work on the side of a box because nothing <laughs> complained about the price of Coke. But that alone was enough for me to take that case. We weren't getting Coke that night, but I grabbed the case, walked three aisles over to show Amy. And it's one of those things. I didn't have to say anything. I showed it to her. She had this look on her face like, what are they doing? And we laughed, right? My wife has a silent patriotic laugh. When she finds something funny, she places her hand over her heart. She leans forward and nothing comes out. My goal is to get that at least once a day. I, I want to try to get I don't always get it, but I wake up with that as one of my missions in life is to get Amy to the silent patriotic laugh. The Coke case got a chuckle, maybe a little snort, but did not get a belly laugh. So you're not always going to get belly laugh. There's lots of different types of laughter, but whatever it is, your funny bone, shared sense of humor, look for it every day and call it out. That's right. Well, and laughter is what helps us move forward, which is what Loveology is all about. Thanks so much.